forward converter derived from step down converter figure shows ideal forward converter the transformer magnetizing current must be taken into account in this type of converter initially assuming a transformer to be ideal when the switch is on d1 becomes forward bias and d2 becomes reverse bias as shown in figure at that time the voltage vl across the inductor is equal to n2 divided by n1 where n2 is number of turns on the second set of transformer and n1 is the number of turns on the primary set of transformer n2 divided by n1 into vd minus v0 vd is the input voltage and v0 is the output voltage for a interval t greater than 0 and less than t on period which is positive therefore at this time the current flowing through the inductor that is il increases when the switch is turn off the inductor current il circulates through diode d2 and at that time the voltage becomes negative that is vl is equal to minus v0 for a interval t greater than t on and less than ts which is negative and therefore current il decreases linearly now equating the integral of the inductor voltage over one period to zero using the equation of vl that is for t greater than 0 and less than t on and vl for t greater than t on and less than ts will get v0 divided by vd that is output voltage divided by input voltage is equal to n2 divided by n1 into d thus this equation shows that the voltage ratio in forward converter is proportional to switch duty ratio d similar to that of step down converter another way to obtain the ratio is to equate the average value v0i for over one time period to v0 recognizing that average value vl is 0 in practical forward converter the transformer magnetizing current must be taken into consideration for a proper converter operation otherwise the stored energy in the transformer core would result into converter failure an approach that allows transformer magnetizing energy or transformer magnetic energy to be recovered and fed back into input supply is shown in figure a it requires a third demagnetizing winding figure b shows transformer in terms of its equivalent circuit with the leakage inductance neglected now when the switch is on the voltage v1 and vd has a relation v1 is equal to my v1 is equal to vd for time period t greater than 0 less than t on and current im increases linearly from 0 to im dash as shown in figure c when the switch is turn off the current i1 is equal to minus im with the current direction shown in the equivalent circuit diagram in this equivalent circuit diagram n1 i1 plus n3 i3 is equal to n2 i2 because of diode d1 and current i2 is equal to 0 therefore current i3 from the equivalent circuit diagram is given by equation i3 is equal to n1 divided by n3 into im which flows through diode d3 into the input dc supply d3 
during the time interval i am shown in figure c when i3 is flowing the voltage across the transformer primary as well as inductor lm is given as v1 is equal to minus n1 divided by n3 into vd for period t greater than t on and less than t on plus t once the transformer demagnetizes current im is equal to 0 and voltage v1 is equal to 0 the time interval tm can be obtained by recognizing the that the time integral of the voltage v1 across lm must be zero over a one time period so using the equation for v1 is equal to vd for great time t greater than zero and less than t on we get the ratio of time interval tm and ts as tm divided by ts is equal to n3 divided by n1 into d if the transformer is to be totally demagnetized before the next cycle begins the maximum value of tm divided by ts can attain is 1 minus d therefore the equation that is tm divided by ts or using the equation that is tm divided by ts the maximum duty ratio d max with given turn ratio that is n3 divided by n1 is 1 minus d max is equal to n3 divided by n1 into d max or d max is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus n3 divided by n1 the four ongoing analysis shows that with an equal number of turns for the primary and the demagnetizing winding n1 is equal to n3 the maximum duty ratio in such converter is limited to 0.5 so it should be noted that since large voltage isolation requirement does not exist between the primary and demagnetizing windings these two windings or these two can be found by failure in order to minimize the leakage inductance between the two windings the demagnetizing winding requires a much small size of wire since it has to carry only demagnetizing current it also should be noted that when transformer demagnetizing inductance is included the voltage transformation ratio that is vd v0 divided by vd remains the same which was derived by assuming an ideal transformer instead of using third demagnetizing winding the energy stored in the core can be dissipated into a zener diode connected across the switch.